Hey guys, T Hand 141 here, and my batteries came in. I am switching my system from 12 volt lead acid batteries to 12 volt lithium ion batteries. My charge controller I will have to change to do the lithium, it, it, it's just changing the settings. My inverter charger for charging from the generator will not do the lithium batteries so i have to switch that out but that's okay because i have seven lead acid batteries that i am no longer going to be using in the house i will move them to an area where they will be more productive and i have a 200 watt system also from renogy that will work beautiful to keep those batteries charged so and that is Hopefully you can see it over there. I'm using it to run my 12 volt water pump for my new water system to use up the rain catchment, the rain that I get in those barrels there, those totes. I use that to pump the water to the greenhouse from the totes where I catch my water from. So I'm not using good well water on it, which is always a good thing. All right, here we go. All right guys, here is my current setup. It is an OAE MPPT solar charge controller that brings the power in, changes it to 12 volt, and keeps the batteries from overcharging. I got this right now. I think you can buy this very same one on Amazon for like $188. Uh, it is a 60 amp that I got. Now right below it is My Renogy 2000, what a mess. Somebody's gotta clean this up, not it. Is my Renogy 2000 watt inverter charger where it changes my DC battery power into AC and it enters right, right here is where it enters this system and then I have another plug that goes and enters the line for the kitchen and the bathroom. These go down to the batteries. This is my temperature line right here. These are my seven lead acid batteries. They have a hundred amp hours a piece. So right now I have 700 amp hours. Now I am going to LIFO 4 batteries, lithium ion phosphate, whatever, and they are 12 volt also. However, they are each 200 watts, and I it says you can only hook four in a parallel. These are all in parallel. And there I have one heck of a fuse in the line. The very first thing I am going to do is I am going to take this little panel off. They're just two Phillip head screws. One here, one here. This cover comes off. Then I am going to disconnect my solar panels. You never want to be hooked to just your solar panels. The first thing and the last thing you are always hooked to with these is your battery. It's got to read the battery. Otherwise, if you hook up the solar panel and hook up to your battery, you'll end up buying either new batteries or a new uh, charge controller. Now be careful when dealing with this, okay? There are, right now, uh, I'm working with 19 amps, okay? Half an amp can kill you. Now I am going to turn off the power to my house. The power just went off to my house. Why is my light still on? Because it's on a separate system. So now I am going to unhook the solar panels. It's clearly marked. This is for a draw. You can have it where it dispels extra electricity battery and positive negative on the solar panels now always 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 disconnect your negative first whether it's from a battery or one of these always disconnect your negative first so now I am going to disconnect the solar panels know also that I have solar panel negative and battery negative hooked up here okay 
I, I am not going to unhook the positive, but I've marked these. You do not want to get them confused. You will screw up your whole system. All right, now I told you that my inverter charger would not work with the lithium battery, so I had to get a new one, and this will. I just called Renogy and asked them, told them what I wanted, what I needed. Renogy has been awesome with answering questions. And this one, instead of the bead display, it has a digital display. Now I have to unhook the battery bank. I have got my in from generator and my out to the power. I'll have to neaten that up a little, but, but now I have to unhook the batteries from the battery cables. I have two battery cables. The negative is taped off, so I don't have to worry about hurting that. Always undo the negative of the battery first. Always, always, always. All right, got the batteries all undone. Now I am going to hook up my battery cables to the inverter charger. Always positive, you hook up positive first. Negative, remember, N never alone n means never alone and negative negative never alone all right guys i got everything hooked up in here except for the thermometer control i don't have screwdrivers that fit in there and really tiny ones i got a glasses kit somewhere but i cannot find it so i am going to kind of leave that open i got this that will go on there but I'm, I'm not going to totally close it up I'm going to go ahead and unpack and begin hooking up the batteries I will hook up the batteries in a parallel to each other then I will program the inverter charger for lithium batteries using the manual guys you can't do this stuff without the manuals you just can't everyone's different and then I will program the charge controller to the batteries and then very last thing, I will hook up the solar panel wire. The solar panel wire. All right, y'all. I got the batteries hooked up in a parallel, positive to positive, negative to negative, because I'm I want it to stay 12 volts. This white line goes to my pump in my well. This comes in from the control panel. I've got both my water pump in the house and the water pump outside hook there right now this is saying my battery is 13.2 volts my output 660 hertz 119 volts okay 13.2 volts is what the battery is now this is saying i'm at 13.8 volt volts on the battery and I'm still coming in at uh, 369 watts with 57 volts coming in from the solar panels. But it's floating because I'm at 13.8. But I do have it set for lithium. I am running off my new lithium batteries and my new inverter charger. Usually when I go to bed, the batteries, the lead acid batteries, were at like 12.5, 12.4. Uh, when I wake up, they're at 12.3 or 12.2, and that's running a fan all night. This morning, they were at 13.1 when I went to bed, and they were at 13.1 when I woke up. I was able to run the coffee pot without starting the generator, and I'm running the microwave right now. That's why that's not floating. All in all, I'm very happy with these batteries. Let's hope everything works out. There's no smoke, no sparks, nothing like that. So we'll call her good for now. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that little notification bell so that you get notified every time I come out with new content. Thank you so much. I am so close to 500 subscribers. It is, it is just awesome. All right, y'all have a good day. God bless.